The comic marketplace has never been this hot. Gem Mint, it's been a crazy week. Keep my comic books out your f***ing mouth. <laughs> oh, wow. Another week, another list, the comic books defining this generation of collectors. Hit the subscribe button. We're here every seven days reporting on the health of the comic book marketplace. And at the list at number 10, we have the origin, the first appearance of Johnny Blaze, the most creative and unique superhero of all time. We have Marvel Spotlight issue number five, the first appearance of the Ghost Rider. Will we get that Johnny Blaze cameo in Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness? Well, we've had concept art, and there's been rumors since May of 2021 propelling the CGC 5.5 from selling for $2,248 in February, up now 7%, selling for $2,400. Last August, the 6.0 hit $2,599. That's up 2%, now selling for $2,650. An increase of 7%. An increase of 2% may not sound like a whole bunch. However, when you look at the recent 9.4 sale, matching its prior November height at $30,000 this week, this is showing not just sustainability, not just consistency. This book seems inevitable to blow up even more than it already has. Ghost Rider's coming. It's it's just a matter of when. Can't wait to see Ghost Rider blaze his on way to the MCU. Moving on to number nine, we have Incredible Hulk Annual One, Jim Steranko goodness. Yet another classic cover to make our hot 10 list. Investors are after these types of moments. Not even for the key worthiness on the inside, but because of the Steranko on the front. By the way, it's only the Steranko bod and a Marie Severn face because Marvel thought Steranko's first take on the Hulk made him look too ugly. So not just an iconic Jim Steranko cover, we had help from Marie Severin on that portrait. A CGC 1.5 had no prior record data, but it did sell for $115. What did have prior record data was the CGC 6.5, which sold for $450 back in November. It's up 18%, now selling for $530. The 9.0 isn't letting off the gas. Back in November, it went for $1,550. That's up 1%. Now selling for $1,560, showing consistency. This is a difficult to secure in high grade because it's a thicker book. It's an annual, and it's wanted by the comic fam. At the list at number eight, we have Daredevil 131. Gem, this villain will not come off our list. It's the third consecutive week it's hit our list. Daredevil 131, the first appearance of Bullseye. We know Marvel has plans for the character. Otherwise, why wouldn't they let Hitmonkey use them as the main villain? Instead, they had to opt for Lady Bullseye. Then we have Matt Murdock back in the MCU. You know that Bullseye is not far behind. Pushing the CGC 6.0 from $355 in December, up now 1%, selling for $357. The 7.5 going back in February for 400 is up 25% this week, now selling for 500. Gem with an 8.0 selling for near what a 7.5 is going for now, back in February for 541, now up 13%, selling for 613. Doesn't this book seem like a very safe bet? No, for sure, because you have mid to higher grade books that are still in that affordable $500 range, and we know we're going to get more of this character. Comic fam, if you like what we do and you want to get access to this valuable information, the rapidly moving marketplace changes on a daily basis. Utilize Kotom 101 on the best comic app in existence, hands down, key collector comics available for both Androids and iPhones. You'll get access to this list that we report on days before this video gets released and the ability to get approximate suggested pricing on collectibles, catalog your comics, get approximate values of your own funny books and support the show next at the list at number seven batman 155 gem have you watched the recent batman movie it was outstanding i have and if there's one thing that everybody can agree on it's that colin farrell killed this role as the penguin i love that kind of mobster attitude that he had a lot on the prosthetics i think a lot of us would have rather have seen colin a little bit more but i dug it man he really poured himself into this character and these are one of these batman keys that i've been talking about you have golden age first appearances and silver age the golden age forget it it's expensive they're hard to find which makes these silver age first appearances that much more coveted we have a cgc 3.5 it sold for 600 dollars back in july and that's up seven percent now selling for 640. 
The 4.5 went for 640. That's up 5%. Now selling for 675. Gem, do you think that it has to do with the Batman movie? Or is it because Colin Farrell is slated for his own solo series on HBO Max portraying the Penguin continuing his role as the villain? Well, they're kind of doing what the MCU has been doing with Disney+, Plus, giving us a great character, but not just finishing their arc, killing them off, or what have you, but giving them potential to have more stories and keeping that interest up. Members have been asking what's next, and we have been telling them DC keys are prime for speculation. Well, for the reason why Jem just laid out, keep an eye out on your Silver Age appearances, especially ones that you think could do well in future sequels that are going to be theatrical that may end up on your screen at home on HBO Max. Next at the list, at number six, Tales to Astonish 27, the first appearance and origin of Hank Pym, who later becomes Ant-Man, Goliath, Giant Man, and Yellow Jacket. Yeah, we're talking about an OG Avenger. We have Ant-Man and the Wasp 3 Quantumania coming up, but not sure if Hank Pym's going to have a large role or not. But uh, yeah, I mean, this is an affordable blue chip Marvel key. A CGC 2.0 sold for $2,030 back in November. It's up 41%, selling for $2,855. Might not be affordable for much longer. Considering that this is near what a low-grade Journey 85 goes for, first appearance of Loki, and Loki's only been featured in his own solo show. He hasn't had his own movie franchise, which is different than Scott Lang, Paul Rudd, Ant-Man, who's on their third movie. I think this book is going to be prime for speculation now before it goes up too much higher. The 4.0 going for $3,900 in June is up 8%, clearing the 4K marker, now selling for 4200 but check out the CGC 5.0. Yeah, it sold for $5,700 back in January. It was going for as low as $3,550 just back in October. One did sell for $5,644 in March of this year, this very month actually. But now this all new record breaking sale puts it up 45% higher than that January sale selling for $8,250. Doubling up in less than a year. Hot damn, comic fam. Next at the list at number five, Marvel Premiere Issue 28. This is the first team appearance and origin of the Legion of Monsters. We got Ghost Rider. We have Man-Thing, Morbius, and Werewolf by Night. All on the cover and the interior. And with multiple characters that are already MCU bound or heavily specced upon. We just talked about Ghost Rider. This is a book that has been moving quickly. The 9.8, however is astonishing before we get to that and yeah it's just a shoe in that this team will form in some way shape or form let's talk about the 8.0 which sold for 386 dollars back in august it's up six percent now selling for 410 and then the 9.4 which sold for 975 dollars back in february up now 13 percent selling for 1099 Then we have the 9.8, which hasn't seen a sale recorded online publicly since 2020. So let me give you some perspective on the 9.6 heights and lows in 2021. The lowest you could have gotten this book at a 9.6 was set in January last year for 700. And by year end, the book was hitting $1,540. The 9.8 height was set in 2020 for $2,000, but it was worth as low as $1,125 that year selling for less than what a 9.6 would go for just a year later well a two thousand dollar height in 2020 saw a 400 percent increase this week with a ten thousand dollar sale hot damn comic fam that's crazy ten thousand dollars for the 9.8 moving on to number four on the list we have amazing spider-man 129 the first appearance of the jackal That's right, the Jackal making his way in this comic book, causing a ruckus. However, there's also the first appearance of Frank Castle, the Punisher, and we have multiple record breakers being broken. The 1.5 back in 2019 going for 220 is now up 295, now selling for 870. Now, we haven't seen a 1.5 in quite some time, but last December, a 1.0 hit the market, and it sold for $720. I think an $870 price for a grade bump up was a great deal. And just a couple grade points up, the CGC 9.6 broke record. It sold for $13,300 back in October. It's up 5% now selling for $14,000. Yo, Jemmet, what is that? Like, I'm looking at something that's kind of falling from the sky. Is that inbound price correction coming? 
Grab your umbrellas because the trickle down effect is imminent. The CGC 9.8 sold for $43,200 back in September. This all new record breaking sale puts it up 32%, selling for $57,000. Tom, what do you think is going to happen to the lower grades after this sale? They're all moving up. And because of the same reason we talked about with Bullseye, just a few comics earlier on this list, it almost seems inevitable that we're going to see The Defenders. And if we do, you know we're going to see Frank Castle. Next at the list, at number three, we have Incredible Hulk, issue number one. Big shout out to one of our What Not Wednesday squad members, Rage Theo, who secured his grail this week, his copy of Hulk number one. Man, I saw that picture on Instagram. So happy for you. It makes me want to collect key issues again. Congrats, man. Awesome book. We have the first appearance and origin of Bruce Banner, the Hulk, Betty Ross, Rick Jones, General Thunderbolt Ross, and we have a 1.5 going for $12,022 in June, up 21%, now selling for $14,495. The 7.5 back in 2019 went for $70,000. And I'll remind the community that a 7.0 back in November a great point less went for 74 K and three days prior to that sale, it went for 84,000. So a seven, five hitting the market this past week, you would expect some gains, but an increase of 52% selling for an all new high of $106,200 hot damn. But wait, Tom, there's more. The CGC 8.5 has been making moves. It sold for $132,000 way back in 2016. And before we get into this new record-breaking sale, we got to look at a close grade, the CGC 8.0, because you could have picked this up for as low as $140,000 back in September. Somebody paid $188,006 as late as December 2021. But now, the 8.5, just one grade point up, selling for 86% more at $245,000. An 8.5 about to break a quarter of a million dollars. What a time to be alive, comic fam. If you enjoy what we do and you want to support the show, give me an excuse to send you comics, funny books, every single month, one per box. We have two different versions going out at random. We have Peach Momoko on. Something is killing the children, issue 21. Link in the description or hit comictom101.com. And next at the list at number two, we got to talk about Batgirl. We got to talk about Barbara Gordon. We have Detective Comics, issue to 359. You know, this has always been one of those books that have always kind of done well. Marvel keys have always been more popular and sought after than DC, but this was one of those keys that would sell as well as the Marvel ones. And we've had the casting of the new Batgirl show since July of 2021. We know Leslie Grace from The Heights is cast to play Barbara Gordon. It's also the first Silver Age appearance of the Killer Moth, and we have not just three record breakers, but a fourth one, starting with a 7.0 back in May, going for 22 hundo, up 2%. Selling consistency, selling for $2,250. The 7.5 going for $3,466 in August, up 14%. Now selling for $3,950. And the 8.5 going for $4,042 last November is up 13%. Now selling for $4,587. That brings us to the CGC 9.2. Back in 2019, it had a high sale of $6,988. This all-new record-breaking sale puts it up 4%, selling for $7,245. Hit the like, slap the subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think about this list. It'll enter you to win this Omni-Man whatnot issue number one of Invincible. And at the list, at number one, the hottest comic book of the week in all of the world is Nova number one. You know, there's been speculation on Richard Ryder on Nova since Guardians of the Galaxy. We got introduced to the Nova core. This character is prime and finally starting to get his dues. It's a funny thing because Kevin Feige has hit the mic more than twice to talk about his intention to utilize Nova, but it's been five years and nothing until this week. Deadline reports a source confirming a Nova project is in active development, pushing up not only three records, but a fourth. We have a 9-0 going for 360 in April of last year, up 7% selling for 385 this week. A 9-4 back in May going for 490, up 2% selling for 500 this week and a 9.6 going for 690 back in July up 16% now selling for 800 a 96 being able to be secured for under a thousand dollars seems like it's prime for speculation now before it goes up any faster 
especially when you consider the CGC 9.8. It sold for $2,575 back in November. It's up 17% now. The new ceiling, the new height for the 9.8 in this book is $3,000. Comic fam, what do you think about this list? And as always, geek responsibly and stay minty fresh. Enough said. Gemmit, where can they find us every single Wednesday? Man, you know every Wednesday we're slinging comics on whatnot. Look at this run of Spawn that I got coming up for this Wednesday, man. Spawn 1, 2, 9, hard to find, lower print issues. You guys got to check it out. I'm doing exclusive drops over on whatnot. Peep this Stray Dogs Dog Days Paranormal Activity homage. Link in the description. Join the best new community to buy and sell collectibles, whatnot, available for both Androids and iPhones. Dollar start auctions that last as little as 15 seconds long and exclusives, runs, and keys being brought to the mic every single week by myself, Jem Mint, and the rest of the Whatnot Squad. We have two other videos for you to check out. Enjoy them. We made them for you.